The Kingdom of Bhutan is one of the most remote and isolated countries on Earth. Flanked by China and India, the world's most populous countries, Bhutan sits in the foothills of the Himalayas and is a nation defined by its unique culture. The majority of people in the Buddhist kingdom live a subsistence lifestyle in villages scattered across the mountainous landscape. <laughs> Life for the people of these villages can be physically demanding. So whenever there's a public holiday, many villagers take the opportunity to relax by gathering to play traditional Bhutanese sports. One of the most popular is the sport of Kuru. Playing Kuru requires a strong arm and a lot of stamina and concentration. These are all qualities that most Bhutanese people have in abundance because of all the work we do on our farms. And I would say that it's physically a lot more demanding than it looks. In Kuru, two teams of seven throw large darts at a small target roughly 20 meters away. A hit on the target counts as one point, and as hits are rare, it often only takes one to guarantee victory. It's believed that Kuru was once used as a way of training Bhutan's men to fight off potential invaders from neighboring countries. However, today the game is played purely for fun. <laughs> There's always a thrilling atmosphere and it's very exciting. It's like that in every sport we play, be it archery, kuru or daigo. I think that's just how Bhutanese people play sports. I remember watching my father and I guess it just comes naturally to me. Most people who live in rural Bhutan toil on the land six days a week. This limits the time available for games like Kuru, and currently it's most commonly played by men during their lunch breaks. This game has been played here for centuries, and unlike some other traditional Bhutanese sports, which are becoming less and less visible around the country, Kuru is undergoing something of a renaissance. In Bhutan, we have many traditional sports, and while many of them are disappearing, in my opinion, Kuru is getting more popular. Not as popular as archery, but it has definitely become more popular than it was just a few years ago. Bhutan is a country that's proud of its cultural heritage, and as the land of the Thunder Dragon continues to embrace some aspects of modernity, Kuru is playing a vital role in preserving the customs and traditions of the Bhutanese people. When I was young, I remember how much fun it was playing Kuru, with the whole community enjoying time together. Recently, we have started to play more often again, which is great, because it gives people like me the chance to pass my enthusiasm for the game onto the young ones. Whoa! 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 